International Space Station is one of the most impressive things we've built. For thousands of years, early humans would have looked up to the sky and wondered what was up there. Fast forward and humans have reached a point where we've been able to place an advanced laboratory above our planet, giving researchers and scientists the opportunity to conduct important tests in a non-gravity environment, helping us to understand things like what these sorts of surroundings do to the human body, and how we can overcome them. These types of tests are important as scientists and businessmen are looking at colonising other planets, with Mars being the one that's currently being eyed up for human colonisation. It's incredible to think that within many of our lifetimes we could see humans walk on other planets, something that only a few years ago seemed impossible. NASA said the following about the International Space Station on their website. The space station is Earth's only microgravity laboratory. This football field sized platform hosts a plethora of science and technology experiments that are continuously being conducted by crew members, or are automated. Research aboard the orbiting laboratory holds benefits for life back on Earth, as well as for future space exploration. The space station serves as a testbed for technologies, and allows us to study the impacts of long-term spaceflight to humans, supporting NASA's mission to push human presence further into space." End quote. There's others though who state that there's more going on around the International Space Station than what we're being told about, and this has to do with the countless unidentified flying objects in close to the ISS. Although NASA have said that these objects are nothing more than space debris, and that every single one of these have been explained by NASA scientists, there's a group of people who believe that the International Space Station often gets visited by UFOs, and that these crafts are not space debris as explained by scientists. This in turn has caused various UFO researchers to watch the live feeds in the hopes of catching one of these crafts. Interestingly, going back in 2015, a mysterious object was seen close to one of the International Space Station cameras, and it immediately caused theorists online to question what this giant object was. A UFO researcher by the name of Toby Lumpf was watching the live stream when he noticed a large object come into view. Thinking on the spot, he quickly took a screenshot of the object, and it was lucky that he did as it was said the live stream quickly dropped once this object came into view. UFO researchers who watched the live cameras have said this is a common occurrence. This has caused researchers to say this is the lengths officials will go to to keep us from knowing the truth. Even those who have an open mind on the subject have said it's strange when the life feed drops when one of these objects comes into view, and if anything it doesn't help NASA as it only causes theories to run wild. Some news stations tried to reach out to NASA and get their comments on what they thought the object was but they reported that they never got an answer from the space agency. This is one of the more well-known photographs of an alleged UFO seen close to the space station, with believers saying that the craft in question shows a large triangular object, a craft that is well known in UFO circles as being one of the most commonly sighted UFOs. These crafts are described as being able to hover in the sky without making a sound and when they need to leave the area they do so at an extremely high speed. Researchers debate who these crafts belong to, with some saying that they are the new stealth line currently used by the military, or some say this can't be the case as some of these crafts have been seen close to the moon. One skeptic however said the following about the object. Although at first glance this does look like a UFO, I think the more likely answer here is that we're looking at a glitch. There's been many times when I've been watching the live cams and I've seen something strange. However, this doesn't mean we should all jump straight to UFOs. There's so many other things it could be. For example, meteors that are entering the Earth's atmosphere, lights from the International Space Station itself, space debris and other natural explanations people have and will always want to believe in aliens. At one point I was one of them, but the truth is we have no proof that UFOs are out there, as most scientists can easily explain the majority of footage that is taken." End quote. Well, one believer said the following, 
This is one of the problems we are facing when it comes to things like UFOs being seen close to the International Space Station. People are so quick to deny it. I think at this point we all need to understand that it's obvious that there's something going on. I'm not saying that every one of these things is an unidentified flying object, but to say that every single one of them can be explained away as space debris is just ignorant. It's clear that government officials are interested in the UFO phenomenon, as declassified documents show us that they've been researching these things for several decades, and when they close down one of these projects that's been assigned to UFOs, they usually open up another one soon after. It's clear that there's something we're not being told when it comes to the subject of UFOs. The more we deny it, the more we dig ourselves a hole, and the harder it will be to open our minds to things we don't understand. For the past five years, government officials have been dropping hints that they know about these graphs. I hope that there will be an announcement soon, and that we can all start to move forward. End quote. So what do you make of this massive object that was seen close to the International Space Station? Also, what's your thoughts on UFOs in general? What do you think they are? And do you think that government officials are sitting on information? Also, if information did get released in the future that UFOs are real, would you panic? Or would you be happy by the news? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.